everyone, it's Bianna and I'm back with another empties video. I guess this could be called looking at what's in my trash, but I have a lot of products that I was really happy to finally use up and I was really happy to be able to give you guys great reviews on them. So let's just get right to it. The first product is um, a women's multivitamin. I got these at Target and they're a little pricey, probably at the $11.99 mark, but I obviously really enjoyed them because as soon as I was done with this one, I bought another one and I actually have another one that I am using right now. I think it works really great. My nails are stronger, my hair feels longer and um, silkier, so it's doing what it says it's gonna do, so I really enjoyed it. The next product is a um, makeup remover cleansing wipes, and these are actually the Up and Up brand from Target, so it's comparable to the Neutrogena face wipes, and I think they work just as great for a fraction of the cost, and I've repurchased them already. They're great for traveling. I don't normally use them when I'm at home because I can just wash my face, but I really like them when I travel, so I already repurchased for future trips. Another product that I have is this um, gel um, shaving cream that I actually received in one of my glossy boxes a long time ago and I finally just finished it. It's by Rituals and you get the closest shave with this and I really enjoyed it. I haven't been able to find it any any in stores, but I know they're sold on Amazon so I'll probably repurchase once I'm done with all my other stuff, but I really like this one. Another product I have is this Tony and Guy leave-in conditioner. I raved about it on the blog a few months ago and I'm still obsessed with it. The way your hair feels once you blow dry it with this stuff that's been in is amazing. It smells really good. I've never used a leave-in conditioner before so I don't have much to compare it to but I love this one and I already repurchased. The foundation that I just finished using is this Naked Skin by Urban Decay. At first, I didn't really like it. I didn't feel like the coverage was that great, but once I started to mix it in with my Garnier BB Cream, I really loved the finish that I got from it and I couldn't stop using it. I loved it. I'm using another one right now by um, Makeup Forever, so as soon as that's done, I will go back to this one. The product that I probably love the most that I was so sad to be done with is this MAC uh, Pro Longwear Concealer. It took me a year to get through this and a little bit goes a long way. It is the best bang for your buck. I know a lot of makeup artists use this and I can see why. It does increase as long as you set it properly and I loved it. Already repurchased so I'm a fan. Another product is one that I wasn't too sure about. It's this Maybelline primer and I liked the packaging on it, which is why I picked it up initially. And the price point is uh, $10.49, I think, at my local CVS. And I was very pleasantly surprised with this drugstore buy. Um, I bought it again, actually today, <laughs> and um, I'm looking forward to using it again. I feel a good sense of finish when my makeup is all applied. So I think this was a really good buy for a drugstore brand and um, I'm happy with how it looks on my face. The product I've talked about the most is this Last Lash Sensational by Maybelline. This is my favorite drugstore mascara. It is, it's the best. It, it really, I don't know if you can see the, um, the brush here, but it's curved and the way it like just lengthens your lashes, it is perfect. I've used three tubes of this already, so I'm clearly a fan. I have a couple of um, higher end mascaras that I'm using right now, but I think it's just as good as Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And um, there's another one by Marc Jacobs right now that I'm using, but it's just as good for a fraction of the price. This is a find that I had about four or five years ago from the drugstore. It's a, it's a makeup brand called Jordana and it's Easy Liner for Eyes. 
and the color is I, I actually don't know but it's like a khaki color and it glides on really smooth and it doesn't can you see that it doesn't really um, it doesn't move at all it stays on your eyes all day and you don't get that creasing under your eyes that you can get with some mess or with some eyeliners these are $1.99 at Walgreens I have them in about six different colors so this is a buy that I will always get and I think it holds up better than any high-end um, eyeliner out there the reason I'm asking can you see this is because my husband is filming <laughs> All right, the final products that I have are all samples that I got either in um, my Sephora boxes or just uh, through some other things. So the first one is this Belief um, True Aqua Balm. I mentioned this before. It is like going to the spa after your shower. Your face feels so smooth. It's a, it's a watery-based um, moisturizer and it is just it feels like a gel it's really great I wish that it wasn't as expensive as it was but it was a really good um, use of the sample size it lasted about a month so I think that's a pretty good return the other is this Vici um, cleanser I got this in a glossy box this this brand does sell at like CVS's and Walgreens and um, again it works so well with your Clarisonic you get a super smooth um, face after you use it with this cleanser and it smells really good and it's it's actually for sensitive skin but you can use it as a cleanser a toner or even a makeup remover it says but I used it mostly as a cleanser and I loved it it lasted about a month again the um, the one that I seriously wish wasn't as expensive as it is is this Dr. Jart Day Tint. It is the best like BB cream I think I've ever used. I always use Garnier, but when I got this, it was gone within five days because I couldn't get enough of it. Um, it's a little on the pricier side, which is probably why you would want to hold out until you had a gift card or something like that, but it does work miracles. And this Dr. Jark guy knows what he's doing, or she, I don't know. I don't really know. <laughs> Um, and finally, it's this Makeup Forever Skin Equalizer. Like a, um, like a primer, it, it did the same thing. I had mentioned in my blog post that I would really like a bigger size to see if I wanted to spend, you know, 25 bucks on the full size. But it was good. I'd say of the two primers that I used, the Maybelline one was way better than the Makeup Forever one. So if I had to choose again, which I already did, you, I would go with the Maybelline one. Um, and that's it. I had a lot of great products and I can finally throw them all away. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I did a full review of everything in the blog post as well. Bye!